Hey guys, Ryan here. And in this video, I'm going to be covering how to use NVIDIA DLSS with the Outer Worlds Spaces Choice Edition. So for this purpose, we're going to be using a mod that was originally developed for Starfield that allowed you to use DLSS in place of the built-in FSR2 implementation. The mod itself is called the Starfield FSR2 Bridge Mod. And this is available to download free of charge from Nexus Mods, assuming of course you've got an account already set up. Now, in order to use this mod, there's two things we need. The first thing is the mod itself, but we also need a copy of the matching DLL file for the upscaler, which in this case is going to be DLSS. So first of all, let's install the mod itself. The easiest way to do that is on the main page, you want to go to where it says Files, and you have two options. I choose the option here where it says Manual Download. Once that download is finished, you'll notice it's an archive file, so we need to just click on that and extract the folder. And inside the extracted folder, there's going to be three files. There'll be an ASI file, a DLL, and a INI file. We want to take a copy of all three of those, and what we're going to do is paste that into where the game's installation folder is. Now, for most people, depending on where you bought the game from, in my case, I bought it from Steam, you're going to go into Program Files, and then go into Steam, and then Steam Apps. From here, go to Common, and then here's a list of all the games you have installed. Now, my path's slightly different because I've got this installed as a separate uh, hard drive, but in most cases, you'd be looking at program files. Uh, in other case, you want to choose the option here where it says Outer World Spaces Choice. Choose the subfolder of Indiana, then go to Binaries, Win64, and then you want to paste in this one here. Okay, so the mod's now installed. What we need to do now is download the latest version of the DLSS upscaling technology. So for that purpose, we're going to use a website called Tech Power Up, as this has basically got all of the latest versions as well as historic versions of DLS as they're released. Now, in this particular video, uh, the latest version we've got available is 3.10.2, which was released on the 31st of January this year. So let's use the option here to download that. Choose our nearest mirror, so for me it's the UK. And once again, we want to extract the folder because this is yet again another archive. Now this time there's only one file, and as you can see, this is your DLS library. So what I want to do is take a copy of that, and then once again, paste in the same folder we used before. So again, the Win64 folder. Now at this point, you don't really need to do anything further. So the mod's all installed, it's all gonna work. So what you want to do now is just launch the game as you normally would do. So now in game, when you're choosing the options between quality, balanced, and performance, you're now actually using DLSS in place of FSR2. I know it doesn't change it, it'd be good if it did, but you know, on this case, it doesn't. Okay, so at this point, the mod itself is installed and working. However, one thing you'll probably notice straight away is that the game's graphics are quite soft. And the reason for that is that the mod itself doesn't include any sharpened filter, which would be the case if you had native DLSS. Now, there's a couple of ways to resolve this. You can enable the NVIDIA overlay, which does include the option to enable a sharpening filter. You can enable sharpening at the driver level through the NVIDIA app. Or alternatively, which is my recommendation, you could use Reshade. But what Reshade is, is a piece of software, it's effectively a post-processing piece of software. And what that does, it allows you to add different effects over the top of an existing image. In other words, what it allows you to do is add additional features or functionality that wasn't in the original game. So this could be anything such as anti-aliasing, screen space ambulant occlusion, depth of field, dramatic aberration, that's a hell of a mouthful that one, uh, fi film grain, automatic saturation, color correction, and obviously for the purpose of this particular video, image sharpening. And as I mentioned before, in most cases, what you'll find is that you're adding effects that weren't originally in the base game. So to install that reshade, it's pretty straightforward. On the main page, scroll down to the bottom, and then choose the option here to download Reshade. You want to make sure you just choose the normal option, not the one with full add-on support. Once that's downloaded, double-click the installation package, and this will bring up a list of all the games that you have installed. So if we just scroll down right out to the bottom, here's the option here for the Outer World Spaces Choice Edition. From here, press Next, choose your Rindon graphical API. In this case, it's a DirectX 12 game, I believe. From here, we can choose the effects that we want to enable. Uh, if you're new to reshade, probably best just to uncheck and then check all of them. They're really small effects. They're not gonna take up much space at all. So once we're happy with that, choose next. And as you can see, it'll start pulling down all of the effects. Shouldn't take too long really to do this. 
Okay, so that's the process now finished. So we'll click finish. So once again, we're just going to launch the game. Okay, so with the game running to launch the configuration for reshade, you want to press the home button on your keyboard. And if it's the first time you've done this, there'll be a quick tutorial. You can have a run through it. It just gives you basics of how it works. Uh, or, or alternative if you want, just skip it. So to look for some sharpen effects, we want to search at the top here and we're literally going to type in the word sharpen. As you can see, there's quite a few different effects here and each of them's basically go about the same thing in a different way. My personal recommendation would be to use something like Immerse Sharpen, but again, depends entirely on your preferences, what you want to do. There's also another effect you can do as well, as we mentioned before, but as you can see, there's a lot to play with here. There's tons of different options. But in either case, once you've chosen what you want to do, press home and yeah, that's it. You're all done. So in conclusion, The Outer Worlds is a great space-based RPG and it's a game I actually pl enjoyed playing a while back when it first came out in 2019. And also the fact that they've re since remastered this game and I can also use DLSS, so I'm going to take advantage of the fact I've got an Nvidia card. It's just a winner all around in my book. In either case, thank you for watching this video today. And if you did find it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and please also subscribe to this channel to see more content like this in the very near future. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye now.